Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited about today's class which is a sun salutation yoga flow. It is going to be perfect for you to do on the morning to get your energy moving around your body, to draw your awareness inwards, to connect to the present moment and set you up for a perfect day. So grab your mat, grab some water, grab a block if you want to modify anything and we'll get started. Don't forget to like my video if you enjoy it to like this class it helps me out a lot and of course leave a comment and let me know what videos you want to see and that's it we'll get started okay my lovelies we are going to start our class in our child's pose so just make your way to the end of your mat open the knees out to the edges your big toes touching in towards each other and then just folding from the hips sliding all the way down forehead to the mat Take a few nice deep breaths here in and out of the belly. As you take this time to arrive on your mat and you start to tune away from the external world, away from the mental chatter of the mind. And you connect to the present moment. And just set an intention here to Stay with the breath as we move through this sun salutation practice. Each movement flows with the breath as we move the energy through the body and we stay connected to our internal world. Find a few more deep breaths here. On your next inhale, just coming through to your tabletop position. Warming up the spine with our cat cow. On your inhale, drop your belly to the mat and open the chest. Maybe you're lifting the gaze. Exhale to round the spine. Draw chin to the chest. Draw your tailbone underneath. Inhale, belly drops, chest opens. Exhale to round the spine. Inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, and exhale. Neutral spine, tuck your toes underneath and just exhale back into your first downward facing dog. Take your time here, bring some movement into those legs. Notice how they are feeling this morning or today. Then keeping the feet where they are, just start to walk those hands in. You're coming into your rag doll at the end of your mat so you can keep a soft bend into your knees. And just find the elbows, let the crown of the head drop. And let it go here, swaying out from side to side. You can nod your head up and down or shake it from side to side. Let go of any stress or tension in your neck. Perfect. Hands come to the shins. Inhale, halfway lengthen through the spine. Draw your shoulder blades towards each other. Open the chest. Exhale, release into your forward fold. Maybe you can take those hands round the back of the legs. Still keeping that bend into the knees. Two more, inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Perfect, exhale to fold. Release the arms down, your exhale starts to roll you up to standing one vertebra at a time. Your inhale lifts the head. And a big inhale so you don't go dizzy. We're going to do some standing sun salutations. So just keep those feet hips distance apart just for balance. Roll the shoulders back and down. Draw your shoulder blades towards each other. Turn the palms to face forward. Spread the fingertips. And then switch that core on, drawing your navel back towards the spine. Nice and strong. Inhale, as you reach the palms together over the head, now you can either press the palms in front 
or you can sweep them up and round. I have a wall in the way, so I'm going to sweep them up in front, inhale, lift the gaze, see if you can look up towards the thumbs, exhale, release, hinge from the hips, forward fold, and again, you can circle those arms around. Inhale, halfway lengthen through the spine, hands can come up to the shins, exhale, forward fold, maybe hands come round the back of the legs or they stay on the mat. Inhale, take it all the way back up. Using that breath, drawing those arms back towards the ears. Over, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen through the spine. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise all the way up. We've got two more. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen. We're just waking up the body. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise all the way up to standing. Perfect. Last one. Exhale to fold, hinging from the hips. Inhale, halfway lengthen the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, all the way up to standing. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen. This time we're walking all the way out to our plank. Go, coming down through our chaturanga so you can take the knees down or keep them lifted. We're going to come all the way down to the belly, the elbows brush the sides of the body. Exhale. Good, releasing the feet, drawing them together, pointing into the toes. Coming into our cobra pose, the hands are underneath the shoulders. Head comes down. On our inhale, the head lifts, the shoulders and the chest lift. And then see if you can hover the hands off the mat. Drawing your shoulder blades towards each other, rolling the shoulders back and down. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift. Three more, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, perfect, last one, exhale. And inhale. Good, lowering all the way down. From here, tuck the toes underneath, knees down, or you can lift them up as you press back to your plank. And then exhale back into your downward facing dog, well done. Send the gaze to the hands, step the feet forward. Inhale, halfway lengthen through the spine. Exhale, release, forward fold. Palms together, inhale, rise up standing. Exhale, let it go, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, stepping back to your high plank. Those knees are coming down again, or they're staying lifted. As we exhale, chaturanga, either take it to that baby cobra, or inhale to your upward facing dog. See if you can lift those hips off the mat. It's just those tops of the feet that are down. And those feet are about hips distance apart. Perfect, exhale, downward facing dog. We're just starting off nice and slow. Let's do three more like that. Send the gaze to the hands. Step the feet forward. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, release, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, standing, gather up the energy. And exhale, let it go, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen the spine. Exhale, hands down, step back to your high plank. Down through Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Perfect, send the gaze to the hands, step the feet forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to fold, keep it flowing. Inhale, rise up. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Stepping back to your plank, exhale through your chaturanga. Little pause at the bottom. Inhale, up dog or your baby cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Perfect, send the gaze to the hands, step those feet forward. Inhale, halfway lengthen. 
exhale to fold palms together inhale rise up exhale forward fold inhale halfway lift good exhale step or jump back through your chaturanga this time if you're jumping back weight through the hands land as light as you can inhale up dog exhale downward facing dog perfect send the gaze to the hands this time maybe you're jumping the feet forward trying to land as light as possible weight into the upper body so lift high onto the toes bend the knees keep those hips high as you jump forward good inhale halfway exhale to fold try and get a bit deeper into that fold now inhale rise up keeping that gaze looking up towards the thumbs exhale to fold inhale lengthen exhale step or float back chaturanga inhale upward facing dog exhale down facing dog well done last one send the gaze to the hand step or float those feet top of the mat inhale halfway to lengthen exhale to fold inhale rise all the way up lift the gaze exhale forward fold inhale halfway lengthen the spine exhale step or float back chaturanga inhale up dog then exhale down dog for three breaths perfect we're going to keep it flowing sending the gaze between the hands we're going to step your feet together at the top of the mat knees are squeezed together sink your hips down see if you can press the palms together as you inhale to your chair pose bring awareness to your lower back and try and draw your belly button back towards the spine lifting the gaze to the thumbs this should feel nice and awkward we're going to hold uh, then exhale release hinge from the hips forward fold inhale lengthen exhale step or float back chaturanga inhale upward facing dog or you can find your baby cobra exhale downward facing dog inhale right leg lifts three-legged dog hips stay nice and square flex deeply into that right foot take your time to move into your warrior one stance float shoulders over the wrists draw your right knee to the chest as you step it through between the hands your back heel drops down 45 degrees Press your palms together, inhale, rise up into your warrior one. Nice bend into the front knee. You're drawing your right hip back, your left hip forward. Good, see if you can lift your gaze to the thumbs. And flowing out on the exhale, hands down. Turn onto those back toes, step back to your plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale downward facing dog inhale left leg lifts three-legged dog hips stay square flex left foot steps between the hands drop your back heel rise all the way up on that inhale warrior one pull the left hip back draw your right hip forward exhale hands down step back to plank exhale chaturanga inhale upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog well done we're going to keep these flowing so send the gaze back towards the hands this time you can step or you can float those feet together at the top of the mat and lift onto the toes bend the knees keep the hips high palms together heels down inhale to chair that core is switched on lift the gaze up exhale hinge from the hips forward fold inhale halfway lengthen exhale step or float back through your chaturanga 
Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Well done, inhale, right leg lifts, three-legged dog. Find that deep hamstring stretch. Right foot between the hands. Inhale, rise at warrior one. Lifting that gaze up. See if you can do this in one movement as we come out. So it's one breath, the hands come down, and we step straight back into Chaturanga. Exhale. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts, three legged dog. Flexing into that left foot. Stepping your left foot between the hands. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Lift the gaze, straighten out those arms. Perfect, maybe through one breath. You exhale, hands come down, step into Chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, upward facing. And exhale, downward facing dog. Perfect, let's do one more round of our sun salutation Bs, but I'm gonna add in a little variation. Send the gaze to the hands. Step or float those feet together at the top of the mat. Press the palms together, inhale, chair pose. We're gonna go straight into it, lift the gaze up. Holding. Exhale, release, forward fold. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit more lengthened through the backs of those legs now. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step or float back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts, three-legged dog. Finding a deep stretch with the back of that left leg again. Just like to add this in, this little three-leg dog, just to deepen that stretch. And it helps us step forward as well. Right foot between the hands, inhale, rise up. Go lift the gaze, keep those hips squaring off. As you exhale, hands come down, left leg floats up towards the sky. Hips stay nice and square, you're in standing splits. Keep drawing that left hip down in line with the right. Folding that body in. Perfect, bending into that standing leg, step back with the left toes, hands come flat. See if you can flow out through your three leg chaturanga, so draw your right leg back. Keep it lifted, exhale. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts, three legged dog. Perfect, last time, hips stay nice and square. Stepping the left foot between the hands. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Exhale, hands come down, right leg floats up towards the sky. Hips stay nice and square, fold the body in. Just getting an extra deep stretch through the back of the hamstring. Perfect, bending into that left leg, step back with the right toes. Hands come down, see if you can flow out through. Three leg chaturanga, draw your left leg back, keep it lifted. Exhale. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. And hold in that down dog for five breaths. Your time here to do whatever you like. You can bring movement, you can hold in stillness. But with each inhale, you draw your energy from the fingertips up to the tailbone, it reaches to the sky. And then you draw the energy from the tailbone down into the heels, rooting them into the mat. And then slowly make your way down to a seated position finishing our class 
with a couple of nice stretches just to release tension from the body. Inhale, palms together over the head. As you exhale, left hand to the outside of the right knee, right fingertips behind the back. Your inhale lengthens the spine and your exhale twists your chest open towards the side. With each inhale you lengthen, with each exhale you twist a little deeper. Perfect, inhale all the way up. Exhale to switch sides. Use those fingertips to lengthen your spine and your exhale to twist. Gently come all the way back to center. Inhale, palms back together over the head. Exhale to the right side, take it into a side stretch. Keep your left shoulder drawing back. Keep both of your sitting bones down on the mat. Perfect, and as you rise back up to center on your inhale, keep the left arm lifted and just take the left hand to the side of the head, the right side of the head walking those right fingertips away. Let your head be heavy, let your face relax. And find a nice deep stretch here into the side of the neck. Inhale, both palms come back together over the head and exhale to the left. Drawing your right shoulder back. See if you can lift your gaze. Draw all the way up as you inhale, right hand to the left side of the head, walk those left fingertips away. Some nice deep breaths into the neck. Gently release. Inhale those palms back together over the head. Exhale them to the heart center. Two more. Big inhale, draw the energy up and in. Big exhale, draw it down to the heart. Last one. Inhale and exhale. Let your eyes float closed if they're open. Take a moment to just pause and just notice the energy in your body. Notice whether it feels different now to the start of the class knowing you've allowed the energy to flow freely, to clear out any blockages, any stagnant energy, to set you up for a wonderful day. Take a moment to find a feeling of calm or of stillness and invite this feeling to join you as you leave this practice, as you head out into your day, into your evening, and bow your head in gratitude to your heart. Namaste.